I'm suffering an altered state. It's my brain being flooded with chemicals like dopamine, norephedrine, and oxytocin, producing weird feelings like the loss of appetite, the urge to write poetry, or stand on top of the mountain and sing! That's the problem. It's been a week since the kiss, and Adam hasn't said anything. And I can't say anything because, well, you know, because. Did I also mention love makes you stupid? Weekend? You? No. <laughs> hey! Hey! You know that moment when you really want to say something cool, but hey. I was wondering if you guys. Eve. Matt! Matt! I need to copy your homework. Matt! Please, 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 please. Okay. Cool. So, you were going to say something? Uh, yeah. There's this movie on now. I so want to see that. Tonight? Absolutely. Uh, maybe tell Eve, too. Sure. Uh, and Matt. <laughs> They're pretty tight, eh, Matt and Eve? Yeah. Tight as. Matt? Huh? <laughs> How would you feel if a girl made the first move? <laughs> it happens to me all the time. Seriously. Could be a bit freaky. Explain. You know, just freaky. Fantastic. I kissed Adam, and now he acts like he doesn't even know me. Yeah? Yeah. Is that a boy thing? Depends, I guess. On what? As long as you weren't like a total desperate try-hard wannabe, then. Oh. I mean, as long as you didn't just grab him and suck face, then. Whoops. The girl making the first move's not that bad, is it? Oh, dribble everywhere, man. It's like gross. I always think that girls should make the first move. Yeah, it's always best because then you know they're keen. Girls can't do it. It's like totally illegal. Those guys are always keen, I guess. But it doesn't mean that you go around throwing yourself at everybody. <laughs> I have done it because I sort of was in a situation when there's no other choice. I think I'd, I'd be too shy. Guys, so I have to ask you out. Oh, I don't know. I haven't been kissed before. <laughs> He is so, so cool. Yeah. Um, so have you talked to him yet about the kiss and that? Nah. Hey, I'll give you a call tonight. Okay. Eve? Yeah? Doing anything tonight? Because, um, I kind of made arrangements to go to the movies. Now. Can't. Promise I'll go over to Matt's to watch his new dance routine. Yeah. And I also said I'd meet Adam there as well. Adam. Yeah, right. see ya. Fine. She survived the operation. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, one small problem. Her heart was a mess. I had to remove it. But, Doctor, without her heart, how will she know love? Well, that's just something she's going to have to learn to live without. Oh, Dr. LeBeau. Has Sylvie really betrayed me? I go to the movies with Matt all the time. We're just friends. I need some perspective on this. <laughs> I was young and foolish. 
Sal had gone out for the night and her boyfriend ended up coming round and we went out for a burger and, you know, one thing led to another. Mm. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, when Sal found out, she cut up all my underwear with a big pair of scissors. <laughs> well, at least I wasn't wearing any at the time. <laughs> but you're still friends, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The boy went west about two months later with another friend of ours. Are you going out? Yeah. Yeah, Sal's organised a girls' night out to make up for last week's blind date disaster. How do I look? Better than Sal. I tell you said that. <laughs> Mum is the most trustworthy person I know. And even she's portrayed her best friend. This is not looking good. It's easy. The secret to trusting your friends is to make sure none of them are as pretty as you. <laughs> Desiree was jealous, so she poisoned Dan's coffee. But Savannah drank it by mistake and went into a coma, which made Dan realize how much he truly loved her. When God made men and women different and gave them desire, I think the devil wasn't too unhappy with the arrangement. Huh? I forgot to feed my pet spider. So I was trying to teach my guinea pig Gordon to swim. It's a bit like copper tubing. Everyone's talking about PVC, but Chopper is an old friend. Now, you got to treat it right, but if you do, it'll never let you down. A quick trip through the internet proves what I suspected. 87,346 sites just on the subject of love and betrayal. That's a lot of broken hearts and ruined friendships. You hate me, don't you? I don't hate you. I won't go tonight. Sylvie. Not if it makes you hate me. I don't hate you. It's not like I own Adam. I could ask him if he likes you tonight. Yeah? Sure. I'm so trying to guilt her. Thanks, Sylvie. You're my best friend. If love makes you stupid, fear of being betrayed makes you vicious. I've got to rise above this. Hello? Yo, Eve. Throat's off. Rehearsal got canned, so I was wondering if you were keen to catch a movie. Is the universe having a joke at my expense? They're horror films. No, it's supposed to be a crack-up. Yeah, I heard. Don't do it, kiddo. To thine own self be true. I... Uh, I think I'll give it a miss. Gotta go. That doesn't feel too bad. Actually, I feel quite proud of myself. Oh, 